So what's up guys, Best of Games here, and we're going to play some Magic Duels. Uh, it's Magic the Gathering, the online version officially licensed by them. For completing this skill quest, you've earned some coins. Oh, right. After you finish Gideon's campaign. Right, 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 cool. So all I did was do the skill quest, which gave me some coins. So I'm going to play through all five of these Planeswalkers uh, stories here. But we're going to start with uh, Mr. Gideon Jura, the Planeswalker of White. Well, one of the many. Well, one of the few. But I'm going to be skipping all this stuff because I don't really care. I just want to play Magic. That's cool, thanks. I want to use that one instead, thank you. Uh huh. Summoning sickness, I know. Thank you. I'm aware of what summoning sickness is. I don't want to play that planes, I'm going to play this planes instead. How about that? And then I'm going to play. Play one of the glory seekers. I'm sure he's a 2 2. He's a 2 2. And then we're going to attack with my 2 1. Now we end the turn. Goes over to. So, magic. I played a bunch when I was in college. Um, might as well tell you guys a little bit about, uh, Magic, which I've never seen that card before, I guess it's new. Um, granted it's just a 2-2 two -two for 2, so it's nothing special, but... I played lots of games. Oh, he's a 3-1, ooh, fancy. Yeah, I'm not going to play both of them this turn. Um, See, so yeah, the whole reason I got into Hearthstone is because I really wanted to play Magic the Gathering. And... After college, there was no Magic the Gathering because, well... I didn't hang out with all those people as much. Uh, I lived towns away from them. Still don't actually have a car. I can drive at this point, but don't have a car. So at a certain point, it's like, hmm, how do I actually hang out with these people? And the answer is, eh, not really. I really don't. So. Hmm. Creatures with flying can't be blocked except by creatures with flying reach. Thank you. And let me play this skill quest, because why not? I think they give me coins or something. Um... Some creatures have flying. Yes. Creature cards have they need reach in order to touch. Blah, blah, blah. What do you want me to do? Uh, an attacking creature is flying. Flying can only be blocked. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, what do we have? What? Okay, we just got a 2 3 Elvish Warrior that can block. He can obviously block that one. What do you do? You're just flying. You can only block creatures, creatures with flying. That's cool. You are that card and you are that card. Okay, so you can go there and then you, you have reach and you're a 1-3. So you can block this guy. There, everyone is blocked. Confirm block. Two of my guys live. One of all three of his die. It's a good day. Now I draw my card, play a forest, attack with all, but yeah, so, while I was at college, I played a lot of Super Smash Brothers, 
and Great over work. like the years Life being there. Oh cool, I do get coins for that. For yep, thank you. Um, so, I played a lot of Super Smash Brothers, and then my friends started to get into Magic the Gathering. And... I was like, okay, sure. I'll... Like, I kind of fought it at first, because... I mean, I don't really care about card games that much. Like, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot when I was a kid, but that was about it. I guess I have to block. I guess I have to do both, huh? No, I'll do that. Be smart, I'll block with the zero three. Yeah, he's smart. Good. Um. So yeah, I played Magic after a certain point. And I got into it, and I was starting around the Innistrad block, which, if any of you out there understand what that is, then cool. And you understand some part of magic. Good job. Wait, he didn't attack for his turn? What the hell? Fine. Be that way. Douche. You can attack, you can attack, you can attack. Leaving my 3-1. Okay, it gets rid of his 2-2. Two -two. I'm not playing you, Glory Seeker. You can stay in my hand. Although, honestly, being the first duel of the game, I could probably just get away with throwing everything on the field. Probably. Yeah, so I got into Magic. I played around the Innistrad block. Um... And then I played all the way up into about the Return of Avicen or whatever, whatever that one was called. Um, played up into about there. Um, and then I played, and then you know I just never really got to. play Magic after I stopped going to college. Um, so I basically found Hearthstone, because it was just coming out at that point. And I didn't play in the beta of Hearthstone at all, but I uh, played for the first season of Hearthstone, which is how I have every season card back. Um, might as well attack with all, because why not? Um... We're at such a point in this in this tutorial game that I could just attack with everything. I don't know why I was holding back. Fuck it, just go out in the field. I don't need a hand. He's gonna lose. He plays fucking, like, something stupid and destroys my entire game. Oh no, he's got nothing. Even better. Um... See, I got no Hearthstone, and then I've been playing Hearthstone ever since. And I've tried playing a bunch of the Magic games on, like, PlayStation 3. And now I'm giving this one a shot, because, eh, why not? Win two games where you cast a wider blue spell. Cool. Versus battle reduce your opponent before your fifth turn. Frenzied start. Okay, cool. So yeah, Magic the Gathering is somewhat, like, it's not the easiest game in the world. I'll be the first one to admit it. Um, there's lots of very little small rulings that can come into play that people don't seem to get, or just, like, are hard to grasp. And there could be a lot of, like, just back-and-forth arguments. Why do we have two life? Oh. Is broken into several phases. At the start of your turn, yes. you'll you have two main phases. The combat phase when this skill quest starts in your first main phase. A dark slick drake stands between your elvish warrior and victory. Find a way to attack and win this. 
Oh my god, it's so complicated. I'm gonna unsummon the guy. Whoa. Mind blowing. Basically, unsummon a sap from Hearthstone. Except to cost one mana. Good job. Casting the right spell. Yes, casting the right spell at the right time can get you a victory, yeah, I know. Cool. Uh, I want to play that planes, thank you. Still an eagle of the watch, all the same cards, okay. So no better cards, Mr. Little Kid. Still got shitty cards. Ooh, mountain. Oh, so scary. Play the big guy. Fuck it. Like I said, at this point of the game, I could probably just basically attack with everything and never lose. I'd like to be proven wrong about that. But. Ooh, Glory Seeker, you're so good. My 3-1's not attacking. Why should my 3-1 attack into your 2-2? Two -two? Because you're just going to block the 2-1 anyway. Good card. So good it's on my side of the board too. Innocent cards can be cast at any time after you cast an instant, it has an effect on the game, and then put it into the graveyard, blah blah blah. Oh, skill quest for instance. How you play an instant. And can be cast at any time. On your turn, on your opponent's turn, even during combat. After you cast an instant, it has an effect on the game, and then is put into the graveyard. For example, you could cast an instant after blockers have been chosen but before combat damage has been dealt. In this skill quest, your opponent has six life. Find a way to win this turn. This is gonna teach you how to play an instant. Attack He's gonna block that one. Whenever it's your turn to act. If you want to cast an instant, click stop the timer. This will give you more time to plan your play. That guy's still going face. So look. I'm gonna give that plus three plus three while he's blocking the t the 4-1, and he can't change his blocker. Oh no. So his stag kills my other guy, but guess what? He dies. Oh no. Standing. If you have an instant you might want to cast, be ready to stop the timer so you don't miss your chance. Yep. Timers. Plus one, plus one till the end of turn. It's not even a good. It's not even a good instant. It doesn't stop his thing. It doesn't change the board in any meaningful way. Attack with all. Now, does he block the flying one or does he block the three one? He blocks the flying one. Okay. Giving it plus one, plus one wouldn't do anything. It would still die. That was meant to trap you. Traveling police food. Oh, 
A glory seeker. Give me up, planes. No, no planes for me? Okay, cool. Fuck it. Attack with all. Let's go. They're just both gonna get blocked. That's fine. But I'll get rid of his guys too. See, the problem with magic is the fact that if you don't draw these magical cards here, you do nothing. Can do nothing. Skip attack. Deals three damage to target in target creature or player. Oh no. But he did that in the wrong time because he did it on his turn. He should have done it at the end of my turn so that way he didn't have to spend his mana. Dumbass. Misplays. Damage. <laughs> See, now this actually has an impact on the game. Because I have two of them. See, that's how you use an instant. He's about to trade. Kill off your guy. Well, guess what? He doesn't kill off your guy. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that out there too. Overkill him. Yay! More coins or gold or whatever the hell it's called. Apparently magic has a pretty good story, or at least that's what I've been told, but I just don't care. You can have multiple creatures grouped together to block a single attacking creature. This is a good way to gang up on a larger threat. Your opponent chooses how the attacking creature deals damage to your blockers. Usually an attacking creature will deal all its damage to the creature that blocked it. But a creature with Trample can deal its excess damage to the defending player. You'll see Trample and Group Blocking in action in this skill quest. 
To complete it, block the incoming attack. Okay, so this 6-5 guy has Trample, so I'm going to use these two 3-3s three to block his 6-5. Thus, block an incoming attack, click and drag one of your creatures to the attacking creature you want to block. Once you've selected all the creatures you want to block with... Basically, I have one life. If he does one bit of Trample damage to me, it's the end. But he can't, so now I have the same card. Yep, go ahead, block. It's gonna do four damage to your guy and then trample for the other two. And thus I win the game. Yay! Great job. Hmm, thank you. All all knowing magical thing. Normally, all attacking and blocking creatures deal combat damage at the same time. However, in this skill quest, withstand your opponent's assault and attack on your turn to seal your victory. Okay. Well, I know how to win. Target creature gains plus one plus zero and gains first strike until end of turn. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna confirm block. Counts. We're gonna do that. We're going to do this. We're gonna give this guy the fury, which makes him a three three with first strike. That five three dies first because he does the damage first. Goodbye. What card is that anyway? Huh, cool. And then we attack with all and confirm attack. And then we win the game, yet again. Skill quests. Woo. Well done. First strike is advantageous on both offense. Well, thank you for letting me know. Good, it's the beginning of the game. I'm gonna play this planes, because I don't like the fact that you tell me that one. Hi, weirdo. The harpies. Or herps. Flying double strike. Oh no. You didn't teach me about double strike yet. How will I ever know what to do? Skip attack. Haha, <laughs> you're funny. Ooh, he's got a multicolored land that's foil. Ooh. Yes, show me the skill quest. Some abilities trigger whenever something else happens in the game. These are called triggered abilities. For example, many creatures have abilities that trigger when they enter the battlefield. If an ability triggered, complete this skill quest by using triggered abilities to defeat your opponent. Choose an artifact to destroy. I destroy your zero four. Wait. Oh, I see. Get sort of his wall, which allows me to kill him. Ooh, fancy. Oh. 
tiny creatures do much more than just attack and block. This tutorial, as much as I like make fun of it, this tutorial is actually pretty fucking good. Like, it's pretty solid. Not attacking my 3 1. Because you're going to block with your 2 2. Goodbye, 2 2. Block creatures were flying. Okay. So the best place to not actually play the guy. But instead. Attack with all. No! I didn't stop it. I'm a fool. I am a fool. Eh. Oh well. I even thought about it too. I'm like, oh yeah, when do I hit the stop button? And then didn't hit the stop button. Play my guy with flying and double strike. Creature that has double strike deals damage twice in combat. Once when the creature deals first strike damage, and again when the creature deals regular damage. It is possible for a creature to be destroyed before it can deal damage. Yes. I understand how double strike works. Thank you. Oh, telling me just to attack with that guy? How smart. He let it go by. How interesting. How intriguing. Is he going to attack me? No, he's not. Okay. Is that a 4 2? 5 mana? 4 mana. Okay. I'm not going to miss this this time. Goodbye. <sighs> going to attack me, bruh. No. When it enters the battlefield, you re may return target creature or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Cool card. Costs a little much, but... Cool card. Whew. <sighs> Oh, you're not telling me to attack with the other guys? 
Hmm. Yeah, I guess they would just instinctively die. Yeah, it makes sense. First strike, and then... Second strike. I'll kill you over time, buddy. I think this is actually a turn where it's going to not just die attack with anything. And I agree with it. This isn't the turn to attack. <sighs> Flying when Blood Toll Harpy enters the battlefield, each player loses one life. Okay. Blood Toll. not suggesting I attack with anything because I shouldn't. <sighs> He's got to make the first move on the attacking now. This is where magic gets interesting, because if somebody doesn't draw anything, nothing happens. It could just be turn pass over turn pass. Forever. Are you going to suggest I attack this time? No, you're not. Because again, I shouldn't. Arguably, I have more stuff on the board now, but... <sighs> Still no suggestions. Fine. Uh oh, Lola's got some itchies. Ooh, planes. See, the problem with attacking is, is that I'll give, I'll let him do the. It lets him choose where the blockers go. <sighs> All I need is that glorious charge card, or whatever the fuck that thing was, that instant. Ah. I think I have enough that if I just attack with everything, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I attack with all, I should be able to kill him. And if not, I kill most of his stuff too. 
He gets to choose where the blockers go, but it doesn't really matter. Because I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna get enough damage past him that I win. Those guys leave the battlefield because somebody died. Cool, so I won. Patience sometimes is the virtue that you need when playing this game. Enchantments are powerful cards that stay on the battlefield after you cast them. They have a wide range of effects. Some in this skill quest use the enchant. Use the enchantment to win the game. Cool. Look, they all become three three. Those are two threes. There's three of them. There's four of me. If I attack with all, one of them has to get through, and he has three life. I win. Game over. Click the button Great a bunch. Job. Enchantments are powerful beca because they last forever. Well, unless somebody removes an enchantment from the board. It's got bags. Auras are a special type of enchantment. Most attached to a single creature and affect only that creature. The enchant ability will tell you what that aura attaches to. You can target any creature with most auras. Read each one to see how it affects the enchanted creature. If it has a negative effect, to complete this skill quest, find a way to win this turn. You'll need to use both positive and negative auras to get the job done. Okay, so you have a 4-4 four four with flying. Obviously I'm going to put pacifism on that. There's some more folks that don't matter. More folks. Armor dissension. Uh, giant creature gets plus one plus one for each plane you control and has flying. Uh, I love that card. It's a good card. I actually, that was one of the cards that I played with when I first started playing this game. Uh, pacifism is also something that I'm used to. So now I can just attack. He is flying, does 7-7. Seven, seven. His two it's 2-1 ground, guys. Can't block it. And the flyer I stopped from blocking, so... Well done. One popular strategy is to use auras to make a massive threat to dominate the battlefield. Yeah. And then somebody, you know, doomblades it or something. Some cards put plus one, plus one counters on creatures. A plus one, plus one counter increases the creature's power. In this skill quest, your opponent is about to create a massive army and obliterate you. Win this turn before that happens. Beginning of your upkeep, if you control five or more lands, put four... Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Oh. I play that stupid land, Supply Line Cranes. I've never heard of this card before. But I choose to put a 1 1 counter on one of my 2 2s, so that way it becomes a 3 3. Because that's how counters work. And now they all deal. Now he does 3, he does 2, 2 plus 3 equals 5. 5 damage to his face means I win. Nice and easy. Very nice. Some 
decks are based on casting a creature and piling on plus one plus one counters until it's an unstoppable force. Yep. That is how some people play. I'm more of a token guy myself. Oh, that's fancy ass land, bruh. <laughs> get that two damage in. Three one. That's pretty cool. You want me to attack with both, huh? Fine. I guess it doesn't really matter between the 2-2 two -two and the 2-1 which one dies. Oh, he didn't block either one. Interesting. I'll take three. Why do you want me to play that so bad? playing that yet. Yeah, I'll attack with all. Whoo, got that stop just in time, boy. Yeah, knew he'd block. Flying Vigilance is so good. <laughs> yes, 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 I know what Rampant Growth does. Ramping, huh? Mana ramp.
Would have been nice if I could have killed you this turn, but... You get to survive with one. Go on attack. And now he taps a green mana and plays Fog. And really piss me off. <laughs> Oh, no skill quest? Okay. Alright, let's do this. I'm sure I'll see one in a sec. Soundtrack's pretty good. Exile target creature and opponent controls until. Oh, I see. Brain Maggot enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand, and you choose a non-land from it. Exile that card until Brain Maggot leaves the battlefield. Okay, what are you getting rid of? As I expected. I'll just kill you faster. It's fine. Never Grim Guardian or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control. Each opponent loses one life. Okay. He's an enchantment creature? Yeah, okay. It's a 1 4. It's kind of impressive. Double block. Okay. It's minus one, minus one for each. Yeah, that basically kills it. Okay, good play. This 
This time it's actually not going to tell me to attack because there's no point. And I agree. It's just going to end up with nobody dying. It leaves me without a creature to block. Well, without a second creature to block. Okay. Cool. Deal with damage to me, bruh. Whenever Doomwick Giant or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, your creatures get okay till the end of turn. Big deal. Yeah, you're telling me just to attack with that one. That makes sense. Next turn my flyers can kill him. Hmm. Man, this is like an hour long video. <laughs> well, if you guys are still with me, cool. If not, I totally get it. Take six damage. Oh wow. Good card. So then I kill you next turn. Okay, whatever. Okay. A little late for that, bud. He's got one mana. <sighs> I won! Yay! I'm the best. Uh-oh, we get a little cutscene movie thing. Rah!
Your friends all died. What'd you do? You were so cocky. Oh no. Booster packs. Until September twenty Okay, so I get a starter box for free. Open the booster. Let's see what do we get. We got on holy hunger. Destroy target creature. Spell master. If there are two or more instants and or sorcery cards in the graveyard, you gain two life. Okay, five mana is a hefty cost for that, but understand it. Rock smaller. Trample. Renown two. Uh, if it isn't renowned, put two plus one. So it becomes renowned. Evolving Wilds, special land. Sacrifice Evolving Wilds. Search your library for a basic land card. Put them in the battlefield tapped. Bounding Caracis. Flash. You cast this at any time. When Bounding Caracis enters the battlefield, you may tap or untap target creature. Uh huh. I understand the point behind that. Blade Caster. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you may have target creature get plus minus two, minus two until the end of turn. And Languish. All creatures get minus four, minus four until end of turn. It's basically a flame strike that destroys everything. Okay, cool. Next booster pack. Okay, Reeve Soul. Destroy target creature with three power or less, so power would sh I mean, uh... Yeah, whatever the fucking priest spell is. Uh, and this is Pilgrimage. Search your library for up to two basic forest cards. Reveal those cards and put one of them up to the battlefield tapped and the rest in your hand. Then suffer your library. Spell mastery if there are two or more instant. Search your library for up to three forests instead of two. Bonded Construct. Uh, can't attack alone. So it's the opposite of Exalted. Uh, Rogue's Passage. Add. I don't know what the fuck that is. I guess it's colorless mana. Uh, four and tap. Target creature can't be blocked this turn. Okay, cool. Necromantic summons. Put target creature card from a graveyard into the battlefield under your control. If there are two or more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, that creature enters the battlefield with two additional 1 1 counters on it. Okay. And our mythic rare here. Uh, as long as you control. As long as your opponent's control no creatures, Erebor's Titan is indestructible. Whenever a creature leave, uh, whenever a creature card leaves an opponent's graveyard, you may discard a card. If you do, return him from the graveyard to your hand. He's a four mana five five, which is pretty solid actually. It's a pretty good card. Hmm, what do we got here? Uh, Amprin Tactician. Into the battlefield creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn. Uh, fairy Miscreant flying. When Fairy Miscreant enters the battlefield, if you control another creature named Fairy Miscreant, draw a card. Okay, Sc Scrap Scrap Drake. Only block creatures flying. 
Cruel Revival, destroy target non-zombie creature. Can't be regenerated. Return up to one target zombie card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Patron of the Valiant. Battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it. So, plur proliferation. Herald of the Pantheon. Enchantment spells cost one less to cast. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you gain one life. Like that card. Go with Overwatch, or uh, the Gay Watch cards. Do two boosters. Okay, Slaughter Drone, Devoid. Card has no color. Gains Death Touch until end of turn. It's nice. Bow and Saw. Crypt Creature gets plus one, plus zero is one. Uh, Warden of Geometries. Vigilance. Ed. Colorless mana. Okay. Void Grafter. Devoid. Has no color. Gains hexproof. Okay. Being good, Lola? Legendary creature, Death Touch. Okay, and what have we got in this? Blinding Drone. Tap target creature. Oblivion Strike. Exile target creature. Reality Hemorrhage. Deals two, dang it, two damage. Okay. Cyclone. Sire. Three plus one plus one counters if you do. The land becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste. That's still a land. That's a good card. This is the value of coins. 199, you get a booster pack, basically. Huh, fun. Alright, well, that's it for me. I've uh, taken up an hour of your time, so if you're still watching this, fantastic. I appreciate it. If not, well, you won't hear this anyway, so if you're still here, hit the like button. Because, I mean, you sat through an hour. Either you walked away from your computer and you just left it running, or you actually sat here and listened to me and watched me play Magic for an hour. Which, if you watch me play Magic for an hour, then I don't understand how you're not hitting the like button, like, like button ugh, right now. So, hit the button. Thanks. Peace out.